Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Men's Empowerment Movement. I'm KB, book author. Okay, these are my books: Millennium Women, Gender Assassination, The Plot to Destroy All Things Male, and Millennium Women War on Men, Bully Tactics is Why the Independence is Failing Them in Their Relationship and How to Be Empowered. Okay, you can pick this up on Amazon. That will be there next month. Okay, but right now I need you guys to hit that uh, subscribe button. We all good. Okay, today's topic. Are women the sexual gatekeepers who take no accountability or responsibility for their bad choices and decisions? Are they the sexual gatekeepers who take no accountability for their bad decisions and choices? Let's get into it. Now, you may be saying, what's a sexual gatekeeper? A sexual gatekeeper is women are in charge of all sexual activities except for forced rape or, or assault because they get to decide because it's their body and their choice because until the answer is yes the answer is no so until she says yes to sex to the man it's no because no means no otherwise it's rape see that's the thing so therefore she's in charge she makes the rules she decides who she's going to have sex with, when, where, okay, and the place. Every, every, everything that's involved with sexual activity, she makes the decision and the choices. He's just, you know, a willing participant. Okay? So, therefore, because he can want to have sex with her all he wants to, until she says yes, the answer is no. Okay? Unless he's going to rape her. That's forced. So, she's not in charge of that. She's in charge of everything else. Okay, now, you got a lot of women out here making bad decisions because, you know, they'll make a decision with a guy, you know, who she knows is no good, a bad boy, he don't want no commitment, he just want to have some casual sex. Okay. Well, until she says yes, the answer is no. So she goes and has sex with the bad boy. Okay. Now, some bad things can happen. She can get pregnant. She can get STZ. Whose fault is that? A lot of women say, yeah, it's both of them. That guy got her pregnant. No, she got herself pregnant. Because without her saying yes, without the irresponsibility of saying yes, and without the irresponsibility and bad choice and, and bad judgment of having unprotected sex, that's her fault. Because she, she could have easily said, no, guy, we ain't having sex, okay, unless we, we use a condom or something, some type of birth control. But yet she went along, she went on with it anyway, knowing the risk. So therefore, it's her body. She decides what happens to it. She decides with whom she's going to have sex. She decided to have sex without a condom or birth control. So she got to take responsibility and accountability for her poor choice and bad judgment because it's her body, her choice. She's the sexual gatekeeper. All sexual activity has to go through her. Not him, but her. Because until she say yes, the answer is no. Okay? Now, you got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, people out here saying things like, well, you know, pregnancy is both their faults. They should, you know what I'm saying, men, men is responsible, 50% responsible. Yeah. But she made 100% of the choice. So all the fault comes to her. Now, when women get, you know, make a bad decision, okay, she get pregnant by, you know, a guy maybe she, you know, didn't know or, you know, had casual sex. Okay. She got pregnant. They get rewarded for being a single mother and making bad decisions for being that single mother. Now you may say, well, what are you talking about? Here's what I'm talking about. A woman who had to make a poor choice, bad decision, she get pregnant by a guy she barely knew. Probably don't, know, probably don't even know his damn name. Okay? Now, she had a baby. She can get welfare, child care, Housing, money, food, education, all 
for her bad decision and poor choices and irresponsibility. Wow. What a plan. I mean, well, <laughs> wow. She had all them benefits for doing wrong. Now, let's look at the men. He got to pay child support or go to jail. So he made a bad decision and he got punished. She made a bad decision and she got rewarded. Wow. What a society we live in where men get punished and women get rewarded for the same behavior. See, the unfair injustice that's going on, okay, of men and women, where is the equality in that? She was the sexual gatekeeper who made the bad decision and she got rewarded for it. He was a willing participant and he got punished for it. But I thought we lived in an equal society. See, women are always saying things are not equal for them. But if you look at society, fellows, and you look at the laws and things of that sort, men are the ones who are, 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 not, get, are not being equal. We need to be out here screaming about equality and marching in the streets of Washington about equality. It's unbelievable that women get rewarded and men get punished. Okay? But see, a lot of things that, you know, all the sexual activity that goes on is women's 100% choice. Because like I said, women will say that the men is their problem too. So in other words, what they're saying is that Men are 50% responsible for their bodies. How'd that work? Okay. Because they say, well, he got her pregnant, so he half responsible. He got her pregnant. That's what women say. And watch the hypocrisy of women. Now, let me ask you this question. I said, who's responsible for pregnancy? I said both. Now, who's responsible for abortion? Her, 100%. Now, why is she responsible 100% for abortion? Because it's her body, her choice. But yet, it's 50-50 when it comes to pregnancy. Why is that? Because, in the, you know, wasn't it her body in the end as well as the beginning? When did it stop being her body? That's why they're the sexual gatekeepers, fellas. It was her body in the beginning before she got pregnant and then when she got pregnant and it's her body in the end when she had the abortion. But yet she's saying it's a 50-50 thing in the beginning and it's 100% her choice in the end because she want to be able to make the decision to keep the baby or not but see as if that's not his baby too. Another unequal injustice for men. See, by women being a sexual gatekeeper, all sexual activity goes through them. Okay? She may go out here and have sex with a, with, a, with a guy, you know what I'm saying, who got a girlfriend. She know he has a girlfriend, but she did it anyway. Got pregnant by him. Got an STD by him. And yet and still, she's saying he's part responsible. See, women take no accountability for their actions. How can you be the sexual gatekeeper and then say it's somebody else's responsibility and then at the same time say it's her body, her choice? It's double talk hypocrisy that's causing women to share the accountability when it don't favor them. But they saying when it comes to abortion, it's 100% their choice and he has zero say so in it. Even though it's his child too. Because it's her body, her choice. See, that's why she's the sexual gatekeeper. But see, it's just in the end when it came to abortion, she said, I accept that responsibility because I want to have the choice not to have this baby and be free. Another bad decision. But yet in the beginning, she's saying, somehow, this guy's 50% responsible for her body. She's not saying it's 100% her fault, now is she? And she got pregnant. Hypocrisy, fellas. The women say they don't want to be sexual objects. 
But yet they present themselves as sexual objects. So what do you mean? Women women want to be independent and strong and and, and and we gotta, you know, think, you know, men should go out to their minds. So who made the decision to go into porn? Who made the decision to go into prostitution? Who made the decision to be a stripper? Those are all sexual objects. I said, women are in charge of all sexual activity except for force. So I don't want to hear no woman saying, oh, well, what about trafficking? That's still forced. See? What about, you know, some pimps out there forcing women to go out there? Have That's still forced. I said, all sexual activity except for forced. So therefore, if a woman go out here, you know, you got these college, they call them sugar babies. Guys, you know what a sugar baby is? See, it's the young college girls, okay, who go get them an older man so they can, you know, get money from them, gifts and house and get them to take care of them, pay their tuition, all kind of stuff. They call them sugar babies. Is that forced? Or are you being a sexual object, okay, and presenting yourself out there like that? See, women don't want to take no account accountability. They are the sexual gatekeepers. They are in charge of all sexual activity except for forced. So they present themselves in a prostitute way by being sugar babies, okay? They present themselves as sexual objects, but then they'll stand up in front of your face in the cameras when things don't go their way and say, hey, you don't treat us like ob sexual objects. But we only treat you like that because that's the way you presented yourself. As a sexual object. You decide to go into porn. You decide to go into stripping. You decide to go into, in, 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 into prostitution. You decide to be a, a sugar baby. You presented yourself as a sexual object, but yeah, you, you preaching to us, telling us, don't present, don't look at you like a sexual object. Another hypocrisy. See, fellas, women double talk, okay, and then it's always they want to share the accountability. They don't never want to take accountability or responsibility for their actions. When they are 100% in charge of all sexual activity because it's their bodies. And they decide who has sex with them, where they have sex with them. Okay? Everything is determined based upon their decisions and their choices. But yet they want to preach to us and say, hey, you don't treat us that way. You respect us. But at the same time, they don't respect themselves. They want us to put them on a pedestal of respect, put them up here, but yet they won't put themselves up there. Right? Because you want to have a multiple sex partners, okay? How is that respecting your body? It's not. But yet you want us to respect you. So if you go on out here doing porn and stripping, Showing your body and selling your body for money. How is that respectful to you? To you? It's not. But yet you want us to respect you. See, they want us to put them on a pedestal like a princess or a queen. But they won't put themselves up there. So why should I respect you when you won't even respect yourself? You want us to take and say, hey, you know, women deserve respect. Since when? Respect is earned. It's not given because of gender. So if you disrespectful, you saying I still should be respect you. Like I said, no accountability, no responsibility for being the sexual gatekeepers. The sexual gatekeepers are all women because it's their bodies, their choice. They will stand up in your face and say that every time there's a rape case that goes on. She's determined, okay? This guy, she didn't give him consent. Or, you know, hey, he was drunk. Or she was drunk. Therefore, you know, she or she didn't consent. Because it's her body. He took advantage of her. Both of them was drunk. But yet, why does she get the benefit of being raped when she was drunk? Because it's her body. Because she's the sexual gatekeeper. And she determines what happens to her body. Even though they both were drunk. 
See? That's why they are the sexual gatekeepers, and this is why they're going to get held accountable for all sexual activity that goes wrong, except for forced rape. So therefore, fellas, you have to hold women accountable for that. Now, you may say, well, yeah, but men are having sex with the women, so therefore they get part of the blame. So in other words, what you're saying is that men can determine when they can have sex with women, right? Quite sure the answer to that is no. Men can't determine that. Because if you're saying that men are part responsible, then men should be able to make the decision for her, right? I'm quite sure the answer is no, too. See, these fe see fellas, they want to be able to say, hey, I want to go out here like a man, have casual sex like a man, do what I want to do because it's my body until it goes wrong. Then all of a sudden, it ain't their bodies no more. It's somebody else's damn body. Somebody else's responsible for it. Their bodies. No accountability. No responsibility when it goes wrong. See? They don't want you to be off the hook for their bad decision. They want to put you on the hook for their bad choices and decisions. See? They want to take away your choices when it favors them, like abortion. Then you have no choice. Your choice is gone. Even though it's your baby too, but it's gone. She, she decides what happened to it, not you. But yet, when things don't go her way with pregnancy, okay, bad relationships and pregnant, you know, and, and sex, somehow it's shared responsibility. Somehow her body just got taken over by, you know, aliens or something. I don't know. The force. It ain't, it ain't her, it wasn't her choice. She had no say so in it. Women never want to take responsibility for their bad decisions, guys. They never want to take accountability for their bad choices. They want to be able to shift the blame and blame you when things go wrong. Because it going to keep coming back to the emotional sensitivity needs. See, you got to be sensitive to women. You have to... Uh, you know, they're emotional, so you got to give them a break. You got to treat them with kid gloves. From the same woman who's standing in your face, saying she's strong, equal, independent, and a very serious competitor to men, and she will kick you in the nuts if you don't agree to it or, or admit to it. From the same one. The hypocrisy double talk. The no accountability, no responsibility. The only when it favors me. See, that's the problem. And that's why we don't let women get away with being the sexual gatekeeper and, and shifting their responsibility to somebody else over here. This is the checks and balance channel over here. And we checking all that bullshit that's going on. Okay? Women sexualized in the workplace, wearing dresses two inches from the ass, blaming men for sexual harassment. Hey, this guy looked at me funny. But yet, she purposely wore the short skirt so she can get attention. No accountability. Hey, uh, uh, you know, the porn. Men, guys shouldn't wear, well, uh, watch porn. Who forced the women to go in there and do this? See, they present themselves as sexual objects, but who forced them? Nobody. It's their choice, their body. No accountability, no responsibility. Women are the sexual gatekeepers. All sexual activity goes through them, so they have to be 100% responsible for everything that goes wrong with sex. That includes pregnancies, abortions, okay, STDs, okay, anything that went wrong with sex is their responsibility because they are the sexual gatekeepers and they are the ones who decide what happens to their body. Man is just a willing participant. He can't do nothing until the answer is yes from her. And when she gives consent, she has to take 100% responsibility for that consent. She can't shift the blame to him and say he's 50% responsible for what happens to her body. Yet in the end, he's, he's zero responsible for her body because it's abortion. She don't want him to decide to keep the baby because she won't be able to discard it. She want to make that choice because it's her body. Yeah, he was responsible in the beginning, 50%.
Fellas, you got to stop women from jumping back and forth across the aisle when it favors them. You got to hold their feet to the fire. You make her responsible for all sexual activity. Okay? It's like when a guy have a girlfriend and she go out and cheat on him. Okay? A lot of the guys go after the guy. Well, you know, they got... No. Why would you go after the guy? He just accepted the gift she gave him. If he didn't rape her, she is 100% responsible for cheating and doing you wrong. So guys, you don't go after the guy. He just, he just accepted her gift that she gave him. Because, but for her saying yes, the answer was no. So she's 100% for cheating. Period. So don't never go after the guy, fellas. And if he didn't rape her, don't ever go after him. Because he just a guy. You say, what if he knows about, you know what I'm saying, me and the woman? That's your girlfriend. That's your wife. Not his. She betrayed you. Not him. He's not responsible for her choices and decisions. She, he ain't in a relationship with you. She is. So she got to take 100% of the blame. Not him. So you check her. You discard her. She is the dirty one, not him. He just accepted the gift. I'll never blame a guy for having sex with my girlfriend and she gave it away. Hey, guy, I like guy, man, you did what you did. It's all on her. Because she's the sexual gatekeeper. And she determines what happens to her body and with whom they have sex with. And where? And why? Not him. He's just a willing participant. It's like porn stars. That's why they get paid more money than men porn stars. Women get paid more money than the men. Why? She's the sexual gatekeeper. People came to see the show with her. They didn't come to see him. He, he's a dime a dozen. So therefore, she gets all the praise, all the money, and everything, and all the glory. But she also won't get all the blame. Ain't no shit, no blame over here. So we do the checks and balances, fellas. Women are the sexual gatekeepers. They are responsible for all sexual activity except for force, rape, or assault. So you hold their feet to the fire when things go wrong. They want to go out here and be like a man and have casual sex. Things go wrong. It's her fault. 100% because she made the decision because it's her body, her choice. But for her saying yes, the answer is no. So never blame the guy for cheating with your woman. You may be mad at him because he took the gift, but it's her fault because she's a sexual gatekeeper and she's your woman, not his. You're not in a relationship with him. You are. So fellas, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Just understand, don't let women shift the blame off of their responsibilities for doing wrong. No accountability because they are 100% in charge of all sexual activity except for force rape. So fellas, to the next episode, I'll